There are a lot of different ways to do this. We're just going to explore one of them today. We're going to come over to the Cam tab, go to our Setup folder. First thing we're going to do is move our origin to our corner. Everything else should be set up, but it would get yourself in the habit of just kind of going through and making sure that everything is the way that you want. If you designed it with a specific size, it should have that size. If not, you can do relative size and you can always add no additional stock. So get yourself in the habit of going through and setting up each one of these operations or one of these tabs. So for this activity, the problem is that we have multiple depths. If I chose my 2D pocket, as we did in the last activity, and chose these two triangles separately, our roughing operation would complete just the triangle and then come over and complete just this triangle. What I would rather do is have it create this entire rectangle down to the yellow surface and then finish the blue triangle the rest of the way. To do that, instead of choosing one of the faces, I'm actually going to choose a boundary. Now that I have a boundary chosen, I can then either choose my tool and I can move on from there. It really doesn't matter whether you choose your geometry or your tool first. It doesn't go ahead and establish any of the tool paths until you're ready to finish this operation. So I've chosen my boundary and then I'm going to go back and choose my tool. So I'll choose my tools and choose my half inch end mill. This is where we can go ahead and start really playing with this and to me this is one of the big powers of HSM is how easy these heights are to control. For right now the stock top and the selected contours are at the same location. I'm going to change the selected contours to selection and I'm going to choose this yellow triangle. I can also choose just one of the edges that makes up that area and then my roughing operation will drop down to the yellow surface. I'm not going to leave any stock. I am going to choose to do it in multiple depths. And the same as I've been doing, it's going to be 50% of my tool. So a quarter of an inch. And I'll leave the majority of the rest of them alone, except for the maximum step over. Again, the maximum step over currently is 95%. I'm also going to use that as 50% of the tool. And for right now, we can use all the linking defaults that are already here. And we'll select OK. As we do that, we can then simulate, and all it should do is take our first rectangle down. Speed up the animation, and it's taken down our first pocket. You can also see that I have show part comparison now checked, and each time I've been going in there, it's now been rechecked. And you can see that I currently have more, the other triangle to take care of, and I've also got those corners to take care of. So we'll go ahead and take care of those last parts. I'll now go ahead and do a second 2D pocket. I'll just select the blue triangle. The tool has already been selected from the last operation. The only thing I really need to mess with is my passes. Take off the stock to leave and change it from multiple depths. 50% of the tool, maximum step over, 0.25. Select OK and it should tackle the rest of it. The simulate, if you have only one operation highlighted when you go into simulate, you'll notice that it only simulates one of those operations. So right now it's only going to do the triangle. If you want it to simulate the entire process, make sure that you have the setup highlighted. That should take care of our roughing operations.